we have done a personal video and a lot of people have done videos about the downtown San Antonio area and all the cool things to do, the mainstream stuff, right? And we know that our viewers wanna see some of the hidden gems, right? The stuff that you don't see in every video, just recorded to death, the cool stuff to do for locals, people visiting, and people that wanna live here. So we are starting right now. My name is Chris Marty and I'm the Rebate Guy and let's jump into San Antonio's downtown hidden gems. <music> Okay, so we start our journey of downtown hidden gems here in an area that before I say the name, uh, check out KSAT12, they did a really funny video of how this name is pronounced. There's about 100 different variations in the video of how people say it. Dignity. Diggy Hill. It's Dignity. But we are in the way I believe it is said, which is the Dignity Hill area. So we are particularly in Dignity Hill Park, which has just been completely redone. I don't think a lot of people realize how much money the city invested into this park. And there's a ton of new facilities here. It's beautiful. You have a view behind me, of course, of the downtown, just cityscape. They've got two separate dog parks over there, one for large dogs and one for smaller dogs brand new basketball courts that are under construction, and an incredible brand new playscape. They've got a bigger one with some really cool equipment that's a little bit different than your run of the mill park. They've got this little hamster looking thing, right, with the hamster glass where their kids get up there and climb up and can kind of look out onto the city. And then they got a little bit of a smaller playscape down below. So guys, you have to check this park out. It is amazing. The city has done so much here to make it a brand new and beautiful place to just live, work, play, and of course, hang out. Definitely check it out. Don't miss Dignity Park here in Dignity Hill. Okay, the second stop on our list is just something that's incredible. I grew up in the New Braunfels area, uh, lived my kind of later half of my years uh, in that area. And one of the big things that we got that kind of opened and really just changed the landscape for us as young adults and kids that were kind of growing up was a skate park. And that's exactly what's going on right here. We are right outside of downtown, located on North Cherry, the Dawson Park that was started back in 2023. So it started about March of last year, is under construction and is making great process. And what it is essentially is going to be a big skate park. It's going to be a place for bike and recreation. They're going to have different bike racks and repair stations. And they're going to have a historic walk and a historic timeline that just shows kind of how this side of, the, of town just kind of has gone through the years and the history that is involved in this area. So having that, that skate park right behind me, local, is going to be so amazing. You definitely want to live right nearby here and be able to just walk down here and hang out and have a great time on your skateboard. And of course, the park itself is located directly underneath the historic Hay Street Bridge. So the Hay Street Bridge, if you don't know the history there, was a bridge that kind of connected the like east side of the downtown area over to the downtown, right? It used to be kind of separated. There weren't a lot of thoroughfares. And so this was a big bridge that allowed people to kind of commute from one side of the bridge or one side of the town to the other. So again, this park and all of this effort that's going on here is helping preserve that historic bridge. There's a lot of different families and people that will take photos and family pictures up on that bridge. So again, another historic landmark of the downtown San Antonio area. You don't want to miss it. It's opening this year, 2024. Definitely check it out. Staying right in the neighborhood of the east side of downtown, we hit a staple called the Dakota Ice House. What's cool about the Dakota East Side Ice House is that it's been a staple in the area since 2018. It's less than five minutes from downtown and has been recognized as one of the best ice houses in San Antonio for their food, their chilling, their places to hang out, and just overall bar atmosphere. So if you haven't ever been to a traditional Texas ice house, it's really, really neat. Again, tons of beer, draft beer, bottled beer, Another interesting thing to know about the Dakota Ice House is during the day, they actually have a daytime coffee shop concept. It's called the Poor Box Cantina. So this is really neat again to have a multi-use space where it's not all just hanging out and drinking, but they have a really great daytime workout where it's a productive scene where you can come get your cup of coffee, your latte, or anything in between, get your work done, study, anything like that, and then have, again, that nightlife that they have here, which is really, really cool. In addition to that, they're remodeling their outside completely and building a brand new outdoor stage for live music and entertainment, making this spot one of the coolest places that you can hang out on the east side of downtown. Okay, so we're here right off of Lamar, right outside of the Dignity Hill at a place called Vista Brewing. So you might be familiar with them. They were located on the west side of San Antonio and they've since relocated here to the part of the downtown area 
And this is a really, really cool spot. There's a great vibe inside, great place to hang out. They offer an amazing Saturday brunch if that's kind of your thing. And you can come here, it's a cool hangout spot and enjoy Hill Country wines. Of course, their own brewed beer that they brew at their main facility that is offsite from here. And then they also have a coffee shop inside as well where you can get kind of some coffee and some other great drinks here. So definitely check it out. If you're looking for a place in the downtown area that not a lot of people know about that has just opened semi-recently, check out Vista Brewing right here off of Lamar in downtown San Antonio. Another super cool spot located on the east side of downtown, yet five minutes from all the downtown hotspots, is the Traveler Barber Shop. What's neat about Traveler is it was originally started in an Airstream trailer. So again, this guy was cutting hair, out of his trailer and the service was amazing the haircuts were amazing the conversation just everything about the experience was very very high end and then now the traveler actually has its own brick and mortar shop on the east side of downtown so if you want to have a place where they have high quality drinks while you're getting your haircut a memorable experience great conversations again great music great experience from start to finish check out the traveler barber shop on your next visit to downtown san antonio Okay guys, we're back north again, just across from downtown, uh, north of the Alamo Dome, and we are featuring a spot that was actually featured already on Netflix's Taco Chronicles. So if you wanna check that out, they were covering a lot of amazing joints all across the states, and this place was one of them right behind me. So this restaurant's not even that old. It opened back in 2019 and quickly just kind of took off and became a downtown staple. They're only open during the mornings from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., but the breakfast tacos are killer. The name of the joint is, of course, Juan Huevos Tacos. I apologize for my Spanish, but it is amazing. Uh, again, great food, some of the best breakfast tacos that you can have in the area, and they are just so close, they're so local, and they're super accessible to anyone that is living, working, or playing in this area. So definitely check them out if you wanna have some of the best breakfast tacos on homemade corn and flour tortillas right here, check them out. All right, so something a little different, but still in the downtown area, still on the east side, is a really neat plant shop known as Tillage. And so again, I know, kind of out of place, Maybe in a video like this, you're thinking of different food and entertainment and nightlife spots, but Tillage is extremely cool. If you're wanting to have your home, your apartment, your condo, whatever it is, with just different flowers and plants and stuff that you might not be able to find, just run of the mill here in the Texas area, Tillage has it all. Again, located right off of Lamar Street, great location, easy to access to, and a lot of different varieties. So if you're looking for some cool stuff you don't see every day and get some cool plants in your house, definitely check out Tillage. Good stop on our downtown hidden gems. All right, so we've come a little bit south as opposed to looking on the map, just south of the Alamo Dome. And we are right here off of Hopkins Street. And right behind me is the new hottest place of barbecue in San Antonio, Reese Bros Barbecue. So of course, if you're watching this video and you're not local, barbecue is a huge thing in Texas. And we have a lot of commercialized chains that do barbecue, but they don't do barbecue right. This joint is one of the greats, right? You've heard of Franklin's up in Austin. I feel like Reese's is the next kind of Franklin's down in San Antonio. It's two brothers that own it. I personally know their dad. Great guys, great family. And they are killing the game of barbecue here in the San Antonio area. So again, right across the street from downtown, just south of the Alamo Dome. They're open on the weekends only right now, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but definitely check it out. It is one of the hottest spots to get good barbecue, good barbecue in San Antonio, Texas right now in 2024. All right, so another stop on our nightlife tour is La Ruina Cocktail Bar. And so it's actually a, really a rum bar. I wouldn't say even a cocktail bar. It's more focused on rum. But why we put this on our spot is if you haven't been, they have a very cool, not super really wide, well-known upstairs, a second floor. And the upstairs has no artificial lighting at all. It's candle lit at night. You turn on the candles. It's great, it's got great vibes up there, great scenery, and again, they focus a lot on their rum drinks. So located just off Austin Street, again, east side of downtown San Antonio, definitely check them out if you wanna have another memorable nightlife experience at La Ruina. All right, so we talked a lot about a lot of the hidden gems in the downtown San Antonio area that you may or may not have known about, and a lot of the up and coming, trendy things and things to do. Now we wanna focus a little bit on urban living. So of course, in any major city, as you guys know, the, the city starts in the middle, right? It starts downtown, it starts local and central, and then of course they build out. 
Well, now what's happening is that a lot of these builders, like the builder that we're at right now, are starting to come back in and they're starting to take some of the vacant pieces of land and lots that were undeveloped on and unfinished, and they're starting to actually rebuild them into brand new construction. And so what this means is that you can purchase a home from a builder like this one that we're gonna cover and go through and see the amazing finish up of their homes located five minutes from downtown, seven minutes from Towers of the America, five minutes from the AT&T Center, um, AT Center that way and even the Alamo Dome that way, everywhere, right? Like they are in the dead center of the action and you can live here. We're gonna take you through one of these amazing homes, see all the finish out and put you right in the heart of the action of downtown urban living in San Antonio. All right, y'all, so we're inside the unit now and we're gonna give you a quick tour about the high-end finishes that are in this property. And what's crazy about it, again, is like we talked about, you are so near all these amazing hidden gems and all the content that we've covered in this video is right in your backyard. This unit with its location right here off of North Olive Street is right down the road from everything. So if you wanna be in the heart of the action and everything we talked about today, reach out to me. I'll give you an idea of how we can get you into one of these amazing homes and you can experience downtown San Antonio urban living for you and your household today. So as we've talked about in other videos, we actually don't have a lot of urban development here in San Antonio just yet, which makes this builder one of the premier builders that's actually starting to build this early on quickly. So what's nice about this builder, Terramark Homes, is they're using high-end finishes such as these custom cabinets. You can see the floor is the stained and finished concrete that's sealed, high-end appliances, backsplash, vent hood, and so, so much more quality that's into this home. Once you come upstairs to where your bedrooms are, you'll see the big space, the high-end finishes in the bathroom, the tiled shower, the big spacious bedrooms, and of course those windows that look over the amazing downtown area. So if you wanna live in this product, make sure you reach out to myself, Chris Marty, the rebate guy. The pricing here is extremely reasonable for the level of quality that you're getting, and we can help you get into one of these amazing homes before everyone else does in downtown San Antonio.